In this video, we will go over the exact settings for our picture profiles on the Sony a7 III that we use for filmmaking. Each of the different picture profiles on Sony cameras corresponds to a different output image. This is due to the gamma, which is found within each picture profile. S-Log2, Cine4, HLG3, S-Log3. These terms may sound more familiar and are all different types of input gammas. We're not going to go into depth about what everything means, though just show you the basics of what you need to know and what works for us. Here is a list of all the different input gammas in the A7 III. And after a lot of trial and error, we found S-Log2 and HLG3 works best to get the best results. Let's start with S-Log2. To get to the picture profile settings, all you have to do is press menu and scroll all the way to page 12 and go down and select picture profile. Picture profile 7 is already associated with S-Log2, hence we will use this. For the black level, we leave it at zero. The gamma, we select S-Log2. For the black gamma, we select middle and level zero. For the knee, we leave it on auto. Color mode, we use ITU709 matrix. Saturation, zero. Color phase, zero. Color depth, everything at zero. Detail, minus seven. And finished. That is your picture profile seven for S-Log2 complete. For HLG3, you can select any other picture profile, though we're gonna select picture profile one or PP1. Then the black level will stay at zero, gamma, HLG3. The black gamma will stay in the middle with the level at zero. The knee will be at auto. Color mode, 709 or rec 709. Saturation at minus five. Color phase at plus three. Color depth, everything at zero and detail at minus four. And that is HLG completed. If you would like to know exactly how to set up your Sony A7 III for filmmaking, we suggest you watch Josh's video from Make Art Now.